recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center. Turns out, Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multi-millionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So, we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Coalition, Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Genki Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned? Oh, excited to be here. Uh, I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, both of you. So, Haley, tell us all about your coalition. Thanks, Danica. Thanks for interpreting, Genki. You're doing great. Aw, uh, oh, thanks. Uh, I was born deaf. Sign language didn't come easy at first, so I drew my feelings. I communicated through art. Still do. So, when I found a copy of one of my pieces up for sale, it felt like a piece of me was stolen with it. That's when I started the Cooper Art Coalition, a union that protects NYC artists of all mediums from theft. That's brilliant. It's about time we had a force to fight underground theft like this. Can you tell us more about what the coalition is doing to protect artists? We look out for each other make sure we don't see copies where copies shouldn't be. And we have digital activists keeping an eye out for unauthorized online dealings. We're 63 artists strong and growing every day. I love this. Awesome organization protecting awesome people. How can budding artists get in touch? Through our website. Link is on the Danacast blog homepage. Send a picture or two of your pieces and your weight and, oh no, uh, your name and, uh, We'll be in touch. <laughs> there you have it, folks. The Cooper Arts Coalition. Any words of advice before we bid you adieu? Yeah. Don't steal art. Not cool. Can't argue with that, Haley. Oh, that one was all me. Haley says if you do, the artists might haunt you in the afterlife. I can't prove they won't. Later, Danikids. <laughs> Yeah, that'll definitely work. You gotta hand it to New Yorkers. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find Nice. You know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, people here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the iron. Sorry, guys. But beach day is canceled. Sand crystals all mine now. I lose the grapes at the school and come home. Walk through the front door. But you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real evil for having his people drag Marco's kid into this. 
Gotta find more crystals to figure out what went down. Marco's memory is returning, and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. Are they gardening up here? There's got to be something else going on. again. the aggressive plant parents hiding. Don't worry, drone. You don't have to cover for them anymore. <laughs> Looks like they're base to me. They can call for reinforcements? Not if I cut the relay first. You've been around all the other blinds, haven't you, Birdie? Gonna have to check out the other blinds to locate their base. How are there so many of you? Stay awake. 
I'm fading fast until I see black. Must have been some strong stuff to sedate Sandman. And what happened to Kimia? Core. I don't have to deal with those traps. <laughs> Wanna let me in on some hunter secrets? <laughs> what else can I learn here? Looks like I can reroute a nerviside to their sprinkler system. Which should knock out some hunters. Time to find that last blind. And hopefully their base. Depending on the data in that bird. According to the data, this person died two years ago. Probably just an error. Still more eyes in the skies. Can't leave Craven's toys flying around.
still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. What's the plan here, Lee? Find Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. Alright. On my way. Where are we, anyway? We are inside Spider-Man's mind. We've seen what those creatures do to people around the city. They get in your head. Twist your desires. Mad they stole your routine? I know you're joking. You're making my point. This thing fears my power for some reason. And I, we, are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root. And Spider-Man's free? That's the plan. All right, then. Hold on than I thought. All right. Weaken the symbiote, take back control, use our powers to save Spider Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. 
And I can't promise what we'll find. why Spider-Man would think about this place. Most of us are here because of him. He's protecting New York. Yes. Maybe not every problem is solved in the cell. Do you think I don't know that? Down here. I think I found some. I think. Miles! Them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No, but it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that me? You caused a lot of pain, man. Debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. Look who's home. Come here. Oh, man. All I see is a process, not a destination. It is her. She's dead because of you. I never meant for her to get hurt. This is your chance to make it up to her, then. I feel something upstairs. Your power does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. <laughs> Looks like we're at feast. I built my life around this place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee. Why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. You no 
Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there. That's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I can neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, forgive you. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me. things my way sometime. I'm not sure I'd make a convincing hero. Won't know until you try. Miles! Help! I'm coming! Miles? 
Spider-Man! Spider-Man, wake up! out the symbiote left inside. He had to drain his power into it to save you. It looks like it had an effect. Wait, you two work together? I wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it, thank you seems soft. It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid. We lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance. I lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you gonna go? To set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? I don't know. This city still looks like a two-Spider-Man job to me. Let's get out of here.